Oi friends, Rin here. So we're gonna talk about places you want to highly avoid kiting at. Now these places are really risky and dangerous because they are really hard to kite at because you don't have many resources and utilities at your disposal to have an advantage over the hunters. Now I'm talking about like windows or pallet to use to your advantage. And other times they are really hard to save you. Okay, like there's a lot of areas in many maps that are really hard to save you from. And the last thing is transitioning out, you know. Like transitioning out of these areas are really risky and most of the time you will get hit when you try to transition out. Now I get it guys, we have those times where we are backed into the corner, we're forced into these kind of areas and we don't have any options. Like yeah it happens okay, but I'm saying like if you guys have the option to transition to different areas, I highly prefer that you guys do not transition into the areas that I'm going to mention because they are really bad areas to kite at. That being said, we will exclude non rank maps so we're talking about golden cave and white street asylum anyways i hope you guys do enjoy the video okay so the first place i want to talk about is sacred heart hospital this is the one area that i want you guys to highly avoid because let me explain there are three pallets here right but only two of them are not useful this pallet right here and this pallet right here are not useful pallets because the hunter can simply ignore them or go around and hit you so that's a problem. The only pallet you can really utilize is this pallet. But the question comes down to after you use this pallet, where are you going to go? You cannot transition all the way over there because it's too far. Unless you have an ability or the hunter let you use broken windows to vault this pallet and make it over there. But even then, that's still risky. You cannot transition all the way over there because it's considered one of the worst kiting spots in Sacred Heart Hospital for survivors. But the problem here is not that just about the pallets or the transitioning, it's about getting knocked here also. If you get knocked here, the hunters will not chair you here. If they have the opportunity, they will drag you all the way over, did my voice just crack? All the way over here. Now this is really bad because hunters know that if a survivor gets chaired here, it's really bad for them because all they really have is this single window. But even then, let's say they get safe, where are they going to go? They can't go to the left because that's way too far, most likely chance they will get hit. They cannot go right because it's an open area, most likely chance they will also get hit. So getting chaired right here is really bad. Highly avoid getting chaired right here because it's really bad for your team. And the last spot I want to talk about is all the way over here guys. Hold up, I'm running pretty slow, give me a moment. Okay, so this area is not particularly bad for kiting, okay? Because you can stay hidden with, within the walls and stuff, unless they have peepers and stuff like that. But I want to talk about getting saved here, okay? Let's say you get saved here. Where are you going to go? If you go left, there's nothing. You're most likely going to get hit. If you try to transition to these two pads, you're most likely also going to get hit. Now, your only option realistically is to keep kiting around here or try to trick the hunter and transition all the way to the shack but it's really risky transitioning from here to the shack. So instead, you should avoid this huge area, okay? This area all the way to the front gate, you don't wanna kite there because it's really hard to transition and saving you there is also really hard. So do keep this in mind when you kite in Sacred Heart Hospital. The next place I wanna talk about is Arms Factory. Now, I don't have much to say about Arms Factory because there are many kiting areas and transitioning routes where you can utilize for your advantages, okay? But the only thing that I can actually think of is the one near Shack, okay? These walls near Shack are not that strong or great because all you really have are windows to vote, okay? But they're really bad windows. Look at this. What is this window right here? Anyways, all you really can do is rotate around these walls and play mind games with the hunter, but it won't last you that long because eventually they will catch up. Anyways, so you're either going to have to go through the shack area or you're forced to transition by vaulting this window right here and then continue your kiting area. Because if you stay here too long, you're going to eventually get hit anyways because you can't outrun the hunter, okay? That's just simply not possible. Now, if you get chaired here, like this chair over here, or there's a chair over here. Well, yeah, there's supposed to be a chair over here also. Now you get chaired in this area, it's also hard to escape after you get saved because you might not make it to these pallets in time or vault those windows in time, stuff like that. So it's a better choice to get out of this area, okay? This wall area is not that strong. So just keep in mind when you kite at Arms Factory. There are many kiting, good kiting areas in Arms Factory. 
just kind of avoid this wall area, okay? I mean, it's okay to use it to start your transitioning kite. It's fine, you know? When you spot in, you're doing this cipher, the hunter comes, it's fine, you know? You go to this wall area, you vault this window or something, and then you continue your kiting area. That's fine. But if you want to try to stay here too long, that is not a very good choice because you can't. You just really can't. So definitely do keep that in mind. The next place we want to talk about is Red Church, okay? This mini part of Red Church you want to highly avoid, okay? This square place, I think, yeah, the square place. There are only two pallets here and you do not want to go here because you're literally trapped in corner at this point. Let's say you drop this pallet, okay? Now where are you gonna go, okay? The hunter can just simply rotate until you get hit, okay? Like literally you cannot go anywhere. You're trapped at this point. Now if you drop this pallet, you're still trapped. Like you, you have nowhere to go. You're bound to get hit anyway. So avoid this square area of, you know, Red Church. Now, we're gonna have to zoom to the next place. Okay, hold up. Zoom? Okay. Give me a moment, guys. I'm gonna have to play Mercenary really quick. Hopefully, I don't screw this up. Why is that on cool? Oh, shoot. Okay, that's fine. I kind of messed that up. It's fine, it's fine. Whoa, chill, no. Chill, chill. Okay, now the next area that you wanna avoid is kiting in this wall area, okay? You know, it's fine, you know, in the beginning of the match, you know, you break this wall and that's fine. That's absolutely fine, you know, in case you have broken windows and stuff like that. But when you start the match, you know, let's say you come in, you know, you're ciphering and the hunter comes to you. That's fine. You want to get out of this wall area as soon as possible because there's no way you are going to last long enough to kite in this wall area for a long time. That did make sense. But yeah, just avoid this wall area, okay? You're not going to kite here for a long time. Now, if you're kiting over here, okay, let's say you're kiting over here, okay? Do not randomly transition to the wall area, okay? If you don't have any ability or skill to guarantee that you won't be hit when you transition over here, you literally just got yourself hit, okay? Because there's no point that you should be going to this wall area unless you can guarantee that you'll be okay. You know, this place is a great uh, kiting spot already. There's absolutely no reason why you would want to kite to those wall areas. Now, the next thing is, let's go over here. Hold up. Oh, calm down, photo boy. Leave Priestess alone. Anyways, the next area is here, okay? Now, there is usually a cipher here, you know, guys. So when you spawn it, you're doing the cipher. You want to leave this area as soon as possible. Don't be camping here, okay? Because if you camp at this pallet, it's, it's already over, okay? Let's say you drop this pallet. Where are you going to go? They're going to break this pallet. You're going to try to go left for something, and they're going to catch up to you, okay? You can't even go right. There's nothing to your right, okay? So be careful when you try to kite over here, you know, it's it's really hard, you know, you only have one pad, but then you become cornered in this area. So try to kite elsewhere, if that makes any sense. So usually you can go over here to start kiting, or or you can be really tricky, you know, uh, you can use these, utilize these walls and trick the hunter, and you go all the way back here, then start kiting over here. That's fine. Just don't stay over here and use that one pallet, okay? That one pallet will get you cornered and you're bound to get hit anyways. So do keep that in mind when you play Red Church. Okay, so the next place we are gonna talk about is Lakeside, okay? So let's say you spawn into the match and you're ciphering and the hunter goes for you. You want to highly avoid going to the shore near this gate, okay? This shore is so bad. Like, this is such a bad kiting area. Because look, look at this guys, there is nothing here. What are you gonna do here? Nothing, right? Like, there's nothing here. Okay, there's one pallet here, okay? Let's say you utilize this pallet, then what? What are you gonna do next, huh? So, look to your right, ladies and gentlemen. What is that? A body of water. Why did I say water like that? Um, yeah, yeah, there's literally, you can't go to your right. Now, if you go to your left, you guys cannot transition in time. Because the distance from here to another kiting area is too far. Unless you guys have an ability or a skill that can help you get there. But even then, that's still risky. But why take the risk when you can avoid this area in the first place? Now, kiting here is not only the problem, okay? Saving you here is also a big problem. Because let's say you get saved from this chair, right? The hunter is most likely going to hit you again, and pretty easily, because this is such an open area. Hunters want to chair you here, because it's such a good chairing area. So, it's really bad for kiting and rescuing you. Res okay, saving you here and kiting here is just really bad. Unless you guys have a plan in mind, highly avoid this area. So let's go to the next area. With the football, of course. That's why I got the football. Look at my lucky guy. He's a forward player now. Oh, wow. That was so convenient. That was, that was spot on. Okay, so the next area is this haystack area, okay? 
When you guys transition into this area, you guys gotta leave it pretty quickly. You know, vault this and use broken windows or something and transition out because staying here too long, you're not gonna last, okay? You're bound to get hit. You cannot, there's no pallets here. There's nothing here, okay? You just gotta get out of here, okay? But transitioning out of here is also kinda hard because the distance from here to another kind of area is pretty far, actually. So if you go here all the way over here, that gives a lot of time for the hunter to still hit you, okay? So try to avoid staying there too long. This area is not that great, okay? You want to leave it if you have the opportunity right away because it's just a bad area. If you try to transition all the way over here, it's still a far distance, you see? So you, you're most likely gonna get hit again. So most, you know, my best recommendation is just avoid this area, okay? Just like kite, you know, you guys can use a transition from here and go all the way over here to kite, you know, like somehow make it over here, okay? Don't end up over there. Ending up over there is really bad. Like you can't, it's, you're just bound to get hit, okay? So just avoid that. And that's all I have for Lakeside. Everything else looks pretty good. So just keep that in mind when you play Lakeside. Okay, so the next place we wanna talk about is Moonlit River Park, okay? So there's only two areas that I can think of. Now, they are just questionable areas, okay? They're not just, they're not particularly bad, okay? Because these two pallets right here are not bad pallets at all, okay? I wanna talk about this area. These two pallets, if you guys use them correctly, they are pretty effective. You know, you guys can stun the hunter, play some mind games here. Still a bit of time here, actually. But the thing is, after you utilize these pallets, where are you going to transition into? You're actually kind of cornered and stuck. Because you guys look to your right, there's nothing there. Um, to your left, there's nothing there. You can, it's too far, actually. You have to use an ability or a skill to help you transition out of this area, okay? You just got to keep that in mind. If you guys don't have an ability or skill to help you transition, you're just bound to get hit when you try to transition out of this area. So just keep that in mind. By no means, guys, just remember, by no means these two pallets are bad. It's just that transitioning out of it is really hard because you're kind of cornered and you're kind of stuck at the same time. So let's go to the next area. Whoa, lucky guy is so sped, actually. Jesus Christ, chill, bro. Okay, um... Same thing for this area actually. So just like the other area that I just showed you guys, these two pads can be used pretty well actually. You know, you can stun the hunter, play some mind games, but after they break it or you know, the uh, pads are gone, where are you gonna transition into, okay? The problem with these two areas is that you can't transition, it's just so hard. There's nowhere to go. You're just trapped in corner. You just wanna go in the corner and cry somehow. You know, go into this corner and just cry. Unless you guys, have an ability or skill to help you guys out to transition you're just bound to get hit if you guys are in these two areas like you guys don't have a stun or a football or stuff like that to help you guys out you're just simply gonna get hit if you guys go into this area you know just like that so keep this in mind when you play in moonlit okay so the next area we want to talk about is leo's memory okay there's not much to say about leo's memory but i want you guys to be careful at certain kiting areas so this wall area right here, right near this back gate, you want to be careful because there are only two pallets here and one of the pallets aren't really that useful, okay? This pallet right here, the hunter can simply rotate and still hit you, so it's not really that useful. This pallet right here can be useful, but once you drop it, they will break this pallet and force you to transition. The idea here is that you, you don't want to stay here too long, okay? This wall area is a transitioning spot. It's not meant for you to kite here. So be careful on that aspect. You know, use broken windows or something and just get out of here, okay? The next area I want to talk about is these two pads right here. These two pads right here aren't bad. You can stun the hunter, rotate, play mind games a bit with the hunter. You just don't want to stay here too long. You also want to transition quickly as possible because you're kind of trapped and cornered here, okay? You're bound to get hit at a certain point if you stay here too long. So try to transition out of here as soon as possible. And that's all I have for Leo's memory. Okay, so the final map we are gonna talk about is Ever Sleeping Town, which is the new addition to Ring. So from what I have played so far, this is one of the paths you want to avoid, okay? This pad right here, you want to highly avoid, okay? Literally, it's not useful. Do not transition, let's say you're right here, right? You're kiting right here. Do not randomly transition to this pad, okay? You're literally 100% bound to get hit. Because let's say you drop this pallet, 
The hunter can simply go around and hit you. You're literally forced to play a mind game with the hunter. And the hunter is most likely going to hit you. You have nowhere to go. You cannot transition in time anyways. So highly avoid this palette. No one likes this palette, okay? Just avoid it. Don't transition to that palette. Remember that, guys. So let's go to the next... What? Next area. So let's go over here. And I'm stuck. No, 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 no. Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so this area is a cornered area, okay? The pallets aren't bad at all, by no means, like I said. It's just that transitioning out of these pallets are pretty hard because you're cornered and stuck, just like the one in Moonlit, okay? Just remember that. I'm, I'm not saying these two pallets are bad, okay, guys? Don't get the wrong idea, okay? You guys can use these two pallets pretty well. It's just that transitioning out of these... What? Transitioning out of this area is pretty hard. So just be careful when you try to kite here, okay? I just guys I Okay, I can't even English at this point. I just want you guys to be careful when you guys kite here. If possible, try to transition out of this area as soon as possible because you're bound to get hit. Um if you guys don't have a skill or an ability and you're cornered in this area, you're just gonna get hit. If you have an ability or skill, you might be able to get out of here and be pretty good at transitioning like a stun or something, you know? But other than that, just be careful with those two areas. Don't go to that pallet all the way over there and be careful at this cornered area. Other than that, that's all I see for Ever Sleeping Town so far. Hey guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, remember to leave that like, leave a comment on what you guys would like to see next or what you guys think of the video. Now, the purpose of the video was to help you guys out, you know, so you guys avoid bad kiting areas, bad transitioning or bad chair areas. Like, I sincerely want to help you guys improve on your gameplay. So just let me know if it does help you guys out. Also, do subscribe if you guys haven't already. We are past a thousand subscribers. And that means so much to me, guys. Like, we've been on this journey for a long while. And we got so far and made so much progress. Like, I just want to thank you guys for the continuous support. I say this, like, every day on the Discord. I'm. It just means so much, guys. Without your support, I wouldn't be here. So... I want to say thank you once again. I'm just I'm just really speechless and I'm really thankful to have you guys support me. Also join the Discord if you guys haven't already. We are pretty friendly family wait what? Family friendly Yeah, family friendly group. So do join if you haven't. We're pretty fun to talk to. You guys can also ask me any questions there. I'm also really active on the Discord. Anyways, um I just want to thank you guys once again. Also join my stream, you guys uh, haven't been on my stream, you know, stop by my stream sometime. I stream every single day, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. So do stop by, guys. Like like I said, man, I, I keep saying thank you, guys. I just don't know how to thank you, guys. I just want to say thank you once again for the continued support. And I'll see you guys all next time. <laughs>